This is a demonstration to show the superior mineral content and fulvic acid content of our fulvic mineral concentrate. We extract this mineral from our source material that we harvest from our mine in the southeastern United States. And you can actually view photos of our source material and deposit location on this website. We're going to compare our product to samples from the two other most popular sources of fulvic mineral products. First, we're going to start with the sample on my left, your right. This originates in the southwestern United States and is sold in bottles similar to this with many companies private labeling the product. The sample on my right, your left, originates in the northwestern United States and is sold in bottles similar to this, again with companies private labeling the product. The third sample is our fulvic mineral concentrate and as I said it originates in the southeastern United States. This is what we call a standard precision salt brine hydrometer. In a laboratory a salt brine hydrometer is used to do a quick check on any liquid to see how many solids are dispersed or dissolved in that liquid. We're going to take a reading first on the sample on my left, your right, from the southwestern United States. The higher the hydrometer floats, the more mineral content. The lower it floats, the less mineral content. And as you can see, that floats at about a 1. This indicates that there are practically no minerals dissolved or dispersed in this liquid. Very low, very low mineral content. Next we're going to take a reading of the sample on my right, your left, originating in the northwestern United States. Again, we can see that that hydrometer floats at about a 6 or 7. Somewhat better than the sample from the southwestern United States. Next, we're going to take a reading of our fulvic mineral concentrate. This is our most popular dilution that is available in 2 ounce bottles and 1 ounce bottles and takes just a few drops a day in juice or water. And just to make sure that you can all see that there are no strings attached, we can see that that has an impressive, impressive amount of minerals dissolved or diffused or dispersed in this liquid, indicating the superior quality not only of our liquid but our source material. And that brings up the question, if you're like me, you really don't want to pay for water. A few drops a day of our fulvic mineral concentrate does the job as ounces of either one of these products. So would you rather pay for water content or would you rather pay for mineral content?